Welcome to the Vinyl Files, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are taking a look at so, just so many records. So many records that if I was like, hey, look at all these records, my dad would run through the door and be like, too much, you're going to jail, son. That's what my dad does. Son, you're going to jail. I waited. You know the old phrase, those who wait get what they deserve? Why did I say that like I was an alien? Good things come to those who wait. Last April, um, I, I placed an order for this item and I was so excited for it to come. When I saw that it was announced, I was like, of course I've always wanted that. And it finally came and my heart was filled with such delight. This might be one of the coolest things I own in my collection. Before we get to today's subject, if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. I got new videos coming out every single Saturday, so you're gonna wanna hit subscribe so you make sure you don't miss them, is the sentence I wanted to say. Without further ado, Discord's first six box set. The only six record box set that has seven records. That was a surprise to me when I got this. The DC hardcore punk scene. Really prolific. You had bands like Bad Brains, obviously Minor Threat, SOA. So much good music came out of DC. But this initial hardcore scene really brought that DIY attitude and kind of just, if the Ramones were the Johnny Appleseed of punk rock, I feel like the, the DC punk scene was the Johnny Appleseed of doing it yourself. Now all of this music has been available for quite a while. You can listen to it in a lot of places. Minor Threat's first two sevens in in 112 it's on a beautiful blue record with the original inserts in it you can listen to minor threats first two sevens on that compilation disc right and then you have four old seven inches on a 12 inch that's what this compilation is called and this is the teen idols soa government issue and youth brigade on a lovely black disc here um in this yeah this stuff was all available and this is discord number one two three and four think I got the order right, why not? So why repress it? For one, it's a piece of history. It's cool to have all of this stuff in a package like this box set. Let's get into it here. Opening it up, the first thing you see is this really cool booklet here. And it talks about, you know, the story of how Discord came to be. And, you know, old photos of Ian and Jeff. And, it's weird to see Ian Mackay with hair. First record out of the box here, we have the Teen Idols Minor Disturbance EP. And on the back, an old photo there. And if you look closely, you can see a very young Henry Rollins right there. It's so funny, when I was, <clears throat> when I was younger, I was really, really into Minor Threat. Loved the band, they were one of my favorite bands. So much so that I have a terrible Minor Threat tattoo right there. The guy did a great job making it look bad. Then, as I got older, I also really got into Black Flag, and then when I found out my, one of my old favorite bands and my new favorite bands, uh, the lead singers, were like best friends, that just, that just it made me real happy, <laughs> all nice and happy. First one here. Nice little, nice little seven there. There's also a nice little reproduction of the poster and lyric sheet that was in it. Wanna shut up out there, children? The next one in the box is SOA, which is Henry Rollins, at that point, Henry Garfield's uh, first band. So that cover back there, the No Policy EP, Discord number two. Here comes in a nice translucent green. Ooh, so fancy and pretty. SOA State of Alert. You know, it's interesting because his voice changed so much throughout Black Flag's career, but from this EP and Damaged by Black Flag, you get the same person that really like, I'm Henry, I'm Henry, I'm angry. You get, you get that really like snarly, like those snarly vocals that he did. Also with the reproduction of the lyric sheet. Can't believe they didn't have download codes in their records in 1980. What a bunch of chumps. Next up is Minor Threat's first EP. Um, so that there. That there. Lovely little little guy there. And the, the lyric sheet here. 
Government Issue, Legless Bull EP. I'll be honest with you, don't know a whole lot about this band, but they're in this compilation and they're from this scene, so how could it be bad, right? Nice little, little fun, little, fu little fun deal there. A little catchphrase, Discord Records, putting DC on the map. <laughs> yeah. There's a whole podcast that Henry Rollins did about Skip Groff, the owner of Yesterday and Today Records, and how he was a very key part into getting Discord Records started with his label, Limp. Um, and it's actually just a really, really fascinating story, the whole DC punk scene, because it's everybody was you know helping each other, they're all in with each other. It's, it's fascinating. Next up here... Minor Threats In My Eyes EP. Featuring a very sweaty, bald Ian Mackay there. Um, and this one is on the lovely Red Wax. It's Discord number 5 and Limp number 41, like kind of like I was saying with Skip Groff's Limp Records. There. And now the final record that I thought was going to be in this box set, Youth Brigade. Possible EP. Just a bunch of punk looking kids with fun haircuts. Just being little punky boys, you know? Not a lot of girls in this box set, but a lot of punky, punky boys. Oh, lovely. You know, eventually you just kind of run out of things to say, and it's just like silence. I've never opened more than two records in a video before. It's kind of a fun little insert here. Rest in peace, Youth Brigade. And then also, this was an interesting thing to include in here, because I had heard stories about Ian MacKay's first band, The Slinkies, but had obviously never heard any of the music. Um, so on the back of this box set here, it talks about when these records were released so the teen idols 1980 state of alert 1981 minor threat self-titled 1981 government issue 1981 minor threat in my eyes 1981 and then youth brigade it's all it's all 1981 or 1980 but this right here was actually released in 2021 over 40 years after it was made. The fabled Discord number zero. A missing no of punk rock. This is what I can only assume is their, their high school emblem. And then the Slinkies, Captain Crunch. They must have, I, I do love me some Captain Crunch. You, you crunchitize me, Captain. But don't actually eat me because my mom would be mad at you. A little fold out in here. All these guys posing by a bunch of beer, which is so funny because they were, at least for sure, Ian was not a beer boy. Straight edge. That is the Discord 200 box set. That was a, a long time waited for. I've been just every day looking at my phone, hoping that I would get a notification that it was coming. And it finally did. And here we are, big video, oh my gosh. <sighs> this box set, I'm sure you can find it online somewhere. I want to say I saw it on Discogs. Unfortunately, people are selling it for $300 when originally it cost $50, which is what I got it for. Um, but Discord is worth, you know, your money. And Discord is worth supporting. Like, it's an indie label. It's a DIY label. They're fantastic. Um, there's plenty of good bands that are on there. That Minor Threat 12-inch that I showed you, that's still out there for purchase. I don't think that'll ever not be pressed because it's just so important in the punk rock story. Thank you so much for watching The Vinyl Files, everybody. I have new videos coming out every Saturday, like I said, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what records I should be checking out, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.